Hello and welcome everyone. This is Binam from Banks and Markets. And in this video today, I'm going to talk about the stock price of GameStop. You may know last month in January 2021, the stock price of GameStop made a rocket jump. You can see the stock price chart here. And if you see the Wall Street Journal given news here today, 18th of February, you will find that in January last month, the share price, as I was able to show you in the chart here, made a jump from 18 US dollar all the way to 480 US dollars. Now that represents about 2,600% increment. And today, 18th of February, when the CEO of Robinhood and the CEO of Reddit, when they are being grilled, questioned by the lawmakers in the Congress, the price of the game is stopped has once again remained very volatile. So I'm going to show you the one day share price chart for GameStop using Yahoo Finance, just in case you don't have access to Bloomberg and if you want to play around and see what has happened to the stock price. So you will see today, 18th of February, it started somewhere around 48 US dollar and uh, just after 11 a.m., the share price went down to 43 US dollars. And again, before 1 p.m., it recorded highest for the day at $48.31. And just now the market has closed and it is the lowest for the day $40.70. So first I want to talk about the grilling or the questioning. So last month when we all were talking about what is going on with GameStop, I was reading Wall Street bets, the messages people were sharing to each other. And again today I'm reading these messages from February 18, 2021, from today. And it's really transparent. People are not making any insider trading here. These messages, people can read from anywhere in the world. And these investors during this pandemic time are trying to make some money. But what they were able to do in January when the share price started increasing reached a high, reached this, this height, soon after they were not able to do what they wanted to do. So there was some kind of market manipulation. And then we are also aware that there were some sad news such as this, very sad. So the grilling, the questioning is, is very appropriate and let's hope that the outcome will be something good um, for all market participants, including the investors. The there has been some apologies already shared, as you can see, but I thought perhaps it is good that people are able to reflect upon the true or correct um, share price, stock price. We also call it the fair value of the stock or the economic value of the stock. If people are able to find such indicative price, 
which is on the correct direction so approximate correct price of the stock then such fluctuation will not take place so with that in mind in this video i'm going to show you what should be an indicative correct price of the game stop stock so that's what i'm going to do in this video and my initial plan was to make use of the dividend discounting model um, but then i found that in case of gamestop the company didn't pay dividend after march 2019 so it has been almost two years that they haven't paid any dividend this basically means i won't be able to make use of the dividend discounting model so what i have therefore done i am going to make use of a relative valuation model in order to find the stock price of game stock so this is what i'm going to do and and when I said relative valuation model, in order to apply that, I am going to make use of price as price to earning ratio as the multiplier. So when I'm making use of price to earning as my multiplier, the fair or the economic value or the approximate correct value of the stock given by the model will be price to earning multiplier times earning per share of the company. But the earning per share will be that of GameStop. The price to earning multiplier will be that of the comparable company. So therefore I need to find out company that is similar to GameStop. Now one way to find out comparable companies is to make use of Google Finance. So if you go to Google Finance and type in GameStop, or the company of your interest then you will be able to see that there is a tab called compare and if you click compare you will be able to see the comparable companies given by google finance so now what you can do if you want you can check if best buy let's say for example is a comparable company i went to best buy web page and i found what they are selling and i can see they sell video games so yes that's fine I can make use of Best Buy as a comparable company. I can also make use of Nintendo and, and all these companies. Okay, so therefore I have these companies names here and alongside I also have price to earning ratio and for Nintendo I'm saying 18.6183. How did I get this? You can obtain this from the same Google Finance page. For example, if you go to Nintendo, click here then underneath somewhere you should find price earning ratio here we go price earning ratio which is 18.62 that's exactly i have written here now i can make use of google finance each time take the price earning ratio by visiting google finance um and and um, and fill in these these rows but i'm making use of bloomberg and it does the job efficiently because now I can just drag it down. You can see here I have the formula uh, which allows me to obtain price earning ratio, but now there is also convenience in that I can just scroll it down and get the price earning ratio for all these comparable companies. See, I've got more than one comparable company. In fact, I've got 12 of them. Google Finance was telling me, uh, giving me um, about four or five of them one two three four five of them but i've got more than five here i've got 12 more the merrier so why not okay so now what i can do if i had just one um, i was going to make use of just nintendo then i was going to write just 18.6183 as my multiplier but so that i'm not biased uh in terms of my selection i've got more a list of companies here therefore i would now need to find out the average uh, of these price earning ratios so i find the average and uh, therefore i get oops um, the average which is 30.4059 the next thing i need is the gamestop's earning per share so when to uh, I, I searched for gamestop's earning per share and i found that it is a negative number here therefore i was not encouraged to take this 
so instead i decide i've decided to make use of analyst given earning per share so i was searching for that and i found through wall street journal here as you can see that the analyst given earning per share can be 1.35 and three months ago it says it was 1.80 so i can take 1.35 or i can take 1.80 plus 1.35 divided by 2 which will be the average so that's what i can do which then basically means 1.80 and 1.35 uh, which then i just need to find the average which is the total divided by 2 which is 1.575 so i can write 1.575 here as the earning per share of the gamestop now the last thing i need to do is to multiply them two to get the fair value of the stock for gamestop so that 47.889 now if i go and see uh, what is the value of the stock for GameStop once the share or the stock price has remained more stable then this is the period I can see uh, from here let's say that's 48 last price as you can see 49.50 and so on 49.50 50 49.49 50, 49, um, 49, 47 46 47 46 46 45 47 so you see here the one that we have found represents the stock price of gamestop when the price is more stable so this is giving us some good indication regarding what should be the fair value of the of the game stock uh, as of now and for that we are making use of a valid model called relative valuation model so this is something i found through wall street journal there is also a feature inside bloomberg called analyst estimated earning per share and that for gamestop given by bloomberg is 1.433 so if you want it you can also make use of this particular data 1.433 and then again multiply that with the price earning multiplier which in this case we've taken the average and you get 43 but this is what we can say as the model given stock price uh, so you can take either 47.889 which may be a good thing if you don't have access to bloomberg but this is uh, using the data from wall street journal wherein you have remained more cautious by taking the average of the two um, um, so you added them together and divided by two so this is how you are able to obtain uh, the value of the stock given by relative valuation model so thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for listening thank you